All right, so today's subject is the fucking heater being on. Great. Hey guys, what's up, how you doing today? So last time we painted some happy little trees and today I got something special for you. So I was scrolling through Twitter the other day and Lexi Luna posted this selfie and I'm like, I can work with that. So I'm like, hey, yo. Can I paint that? She's like, go for it. So that's what we're gonna do. The subject of today's painting is adult film actress Lexi Luna. And like the adult art media thing, it's kind of a weird thing because you got a bunch of different breakdowns in it. Because obviously in your like top tier, like you have like porno, right? We all know what porn is. And then you have like boudoir or boudoir, which is just like half naked chicks drinking wine or coffee, like all snug up in a blanket or a thick sweater or some shit. And then you have like erotica, which is like most of the rest of the stuff. And like, hey, I think that like erotica is like my favorite like tier of that. Because I personally think that's where all the good art is. And it's kind of funny because like when you think about erotica, your mind immediately goes towards like sex, but it doesn't have to be overtly sexual. Case in point, the great red dragon and the woman in gold bathed in the sun. I'm gonna have to fucking Google that and see what it's called. But like, look at this dragon dude's back. Like, that's not overtly sexual, but it's still kind of fucking hot. But yeah, if you can't tell from some of my other art, like a lot of it's kind of sexual. It, it implies that uh, feeling, but nobody's necessarily boning in it. But you also have like a lot of other art from the past that is portraying naked people, but it's not supposed to be sexual or erotic like at all. Well, I mean, sometimes. But I've always thought the implication was more arousing than just showing it to you. It's kind of like in storytelling where you show the reader what's going on, vice just telling them. But I guess that's a deeper conversation for another day. Well, anyway, since we're painting Lexi Luna and my acoustic guitar happens to be uh, Luna, let's get the music part of this out of the way. Now, I kind of wanted to do that one in the style of this one. You might remember that from a few videos back. So let's get that canvas ready. Get those good ridges in there. Set up the base. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take a dark purple and a black and just splatter it right on the canvas. And then we're gonna somewhat smooth that out, make sure to get the sides of the canvas. And then we're gonna add a couple other purples, blues, and reds. And then we're gonna slap the shit out of the canvas. Just go ahead and beat it like a drum. All right, so I ended up using a, whoops. <laughs> All right, so I ended up using a lot of paint on this guy, and you can't really see it from this angle, but as I shift it in the light, you can see how much the dried paint is raised on there. We got a real good texture on this. And we're gonna do on this canvas what we did with other paintings in the past. We're gonna treat this like a background and see how it's not actually black, it's more of a cosmic purple, I guess. We're gonna take our picture and project it onto the canvas with, you know, a projector, and then we're going to paint over first where the subject is in a really dark hue. So we're gonna use the same purples, but we're gonna have them be almost black, so there's gonna be like a shadow figure here before we go in and do anything else. So let's go do that. So again, like other paintings that we've done, we're gonna turn the light off, we're gonna wait for the camera to adjust, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our brush, we're just gonna paint the outline of this, and then we're gonna turn the light back on and then smooth it back out. Now with this, because of the style we're doing it, we're gonna use a lot of downstrokes so that on these like nubs, waves, things that's in the fucking paint, like you're gonna miss some parts, and that's okay, we're doing that on purpose. And by follow me, I mean, you know, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like it, leave a comment, you know, all that good stuff. All right, so you see what I mean where we left some spots out or that were naturally left out from the downstroking motion we used with the brush? That all come in fucking clutch later towards the end of the fucking painting. Okay, so for this next part going in, we're just going to be doing shapes and kind of making it blotchy looking. And that's just gonna give us our areas and planes with which we're going to work later. And for this, we're gonna use a deep purple because we like the smoke on the water. A prism violet, we're gonna use a fluorescent red, not pink, we're gonna save the pink for last. And I already made that joke in another video, so I'm not doing it here. And then we're gonna use ultramarine because Semper Fi. All right, let's get into it.
All right, so where we're at now on any other painting, I would call this the nightmare phase because it looks like a no face nightmare villain. This terrible monster of the deep. But that's okay because of the point we're at. And I know that I've explained this before in other videos, but more or less what's gonna happen is the other layers of paint we put on top of this, they're gonna shine through that because we're gonna use thinner paint. They're gonna hit these and bounce back. So when you're looking at it, it'll give you a deeper, richer, uh, hue and saturation than if we just did one layer. But you know, you gotta build these things up. And we'll see how it goes. Let's let this dry for a little bit. So while that's drying, I got something else I wanna work on that I should you know, show you the steps of. Or at least you can come along for the ride while I do it. All right, so as many of you know, I am also a novelist and I sell my books. I mean, there's, there's a few ways to get my books. Um, I would suggest Amazon because it's cheaper there for you and I get more of a cut. But I also sell them in this box set, but you know, it's, my first six books in an ammo can. And I have to make those myself. You have to get those from a website because I, I don't know, it just be like that. And because I have to like, you know, hand make all these, the uh, turnaround time on them is, I don't know, a couple weeks because Amazon takes forever to send me my own books. I don't know why, but yeah, let, let's, let, let, let's do this. Now these things are also serialized, so I know how many of these things I sent out. That and it's also just like a little extra cool bit of excuse for me to paint shit on this. But you know, on the inside, I gotta put all six of these books, and I sign them all, sometimes with a little personal message. Yeah, all six of them. And they fit nice and snug right inside that can. And I'll throw in like a patch, some stickers, and a couple of postcards, one of which I'll write a note on the back. Yeah, and check it out. They fit in there nice and friggin' snug. Well, we're gonna get that ready for the post office. But in the meantime, let's get back to this painting. Okay, so we're gonna go back into this with most of the colors from before, except for now we're also going to use cobalt, prism blue, neon blue, and then like the fluorescent blue too. However, a lot of this is gonna be mixed in, well, mixed together on the canvas, and we're gonna pay just a little bit more attention to the fucking details, try to get a little bit more shape into things. Even though it's, you know, a wavy mess of surrealist bullshit. Let's go! That was terrible. Let's go. Starting to come a little bit together, still blocky, but that's on purpose. I'm not sure if I like this though or not yet. You might get a two for Tuesday on this fucking video. We'll see. All right, let's get back on the attack. All right, so this is our finished product for this. Look at the, uh, and look, look at the waves. Look at the way the light looks on the waves. I don't like it. Actually, I do kind of like it. But that's not what I was going for. I was going for one of my Margarets. That synth wave feel. So I guess it's your lucky day. Fucking two for Tuesday. We're gonna take the rest of the paint that I have in this palette. We're gonna squirt a little more purple, a little bit of black into it, and start another fucking canvas. Welcome to part two, bitch. Actually, while we're fucking here, get rid of the folk music. Turn on the synth wave. All right, so while we're waiting for that to dry, Steph Infosanic, Steph, Steph, in, Steph, Steph Infosanic, Steve! This is for you, Steve. Wants me to do meme reviews. I guess we could do that. I'm just gonna go to Facebook real quick, and I'm gonna post, I need memes, and see what pops up. I love a hot shower. I be in there turning like a rotisserie chicken. Smiley face. <sighs> I mean, it's accurate. I don't feel the dying need to eat myself afterwards. So because this meme didn't come with a coffee rub, one out of 10. Doctor, all right, the abortion was successful. Your credit card has declined. Doctor! Obvious Photoshop on a rehashed meme. Plus, I don't like this actress in Star Wars. That whole stopping Finn from destroying the AT-ATs because love's not how you lose wars. Whatever dumb shit. Nah, don't like it, one out of 10. Apparently LSD makes you see things. I'm going to give it a go. And it's a picture of Helen Keller. Not creative, and making fun of the disabled, one out of 10. First sergeant's at the promotion board. He might be the stupidest son of a bitch alive, but he sure is fast. Well, the Marine Corps promotes up to E7 based off of uh, your physical fitness, and rarely anything else. And because that's why the Marine Corps is full of shit leadership, this team gets one out of 10. Someone just called my nine-year-old gay on Xbox, and he responded, I'm straighter than the pole your mom dances on, and I'm not intervening. That's bullshit, you know it. You're lying to the internet, one out of 10. Tesla crash, G get it, cause they're electronic. One out of 10. Grandmother, mother, granddaughter. 
in engineering terms, lefty loosey, righty tidy. One at a time. You know, I'm sure there's a funny joke in there. However, the last time you saw a vagina was when you got squirted out of one, like the filthy fucking peasant you are. One at a ten. Feral cats. Uh, get it? Cause, cause they're Will Ferrell. One out of ten. Let's just get back to fucking painting. Oh, great, the fucking fan's off. Great, now we can get back to the memes. And oh, look, sand people, Anakin Skywalker. I get it, get it, get it. Uh, fucking going ballistic on sand people, because I was in the Marines and went to Afghanistan fucking twice. Next meme. When you fist a midget and she becomes a sock puppet. Like a glove. I'm 34 and I heard that joke in the 90s. One out of 10. I had a really funny meme, but Hillary deleted it. I've been seeing this meme since 2015. One out of 10. If chivalry is dead, then explain this. Look at that dude's size, he can fit more than two. Start doing CrossFit, one out of 10. Girlfriend is crying. Me, an empath. I'm sensing that you want me to go play PlayStation for a while. This is why you're single. One out of ten. Actually, while we're on it, this is my gaming system. When you forget your morning coffee and you wind up driving to the wrong place. This is how we won the 1984 Olympics. This meme is at least that old. CCCP out of USSR. All politicians are corrupt. And it's a picture of a... Dog mare. Who's putting cats in internment camps? And while it's admirable that this dog took such a strong stance against communism, like he still invaded Poland? Dog Hitler. 14 out of 88. Pete Davidson looking out the window at Kanye's house. Oh, I said that wrong. Pete Davidson looking... Oh. Pete Davidson looking out the window at Kanye house. And no punctuation. Learn how to spell, use a newer meme. 10 out of this is me at your mom's house. Family, can we read your writing? Not unless everyone gets real cool with a bunch of stuff really quick. Hey, listen, other writers out there, um, I hate to break it to you, your family's never gonna read your fucking shit. Neither are most of your friends. That's why most of your fan base is strangers on the internet. That is, unless, of course, you could benefit from nepotism. And one of your college buddies is a literary agent. Or your daddy could buy you into it. Or your mommy could buy you into it. It's 2022. Oh, look, and this meme's relevant to the last one. People, how do you stay so calm and level-headed while everyone else is freaking out over the economy. These people have no idea to live without money. They're what's called new poor. We're old poor. Well, I wouldn't be fucking old poor if you'd buy my shit! I'm blaming you for the economy. After all, you did vote for the wrong person, even if they didn't win. I vote third party, so this is all your guys' fault. He was eating pussy from the back and his- oh wait, that's a chick talking. He was eating pussy from the back and his nose accidentally touched my butthole, so I clenched in my cheeks and said, I got your nose. I ain't seen him since. And that, ladies, is why you're single. Zero out of 69. When your buddy re-enlists because he's scared to get out. We had a failure to extract right here. You know all this shit going on with fucking Ukraine and Russia right now? Like, first off, that shit started in 2013. Why? Why did this shit have to happen after I got out? And before some of you smart ass like, we'll just re-enlist. Dude, I got medically fucking separated, man. I was fighting fucking dirt fire. In Afghanistan, nobody in a fucking uniform. That's a wet fucking dream to me. Fighting the fucking Russians? Fighting the fucking Russians. I would say something like I'd give my left nut to do that, but in reality, I'd probably lose all four of my limbs. Blech. Vodka's terrible, and you should feel ashamed for drinking it. You're not a 13-year-old girl. Drink whiskey. Oh, look, another relevant meme. These aren't my glasses. When you see a mob of O351s march by the duty hut wielding tiki torches screaming, you will not replace us as they carry a combat engineer nailed to a cross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, if you're not in the military, that would take me 35 minutes to explain why that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Actually, it would take less time for you to enlist and go infantry to get that joke than it would for me to explain it, but uh, I guess you just had to bend there. To horse! Thanks, Jesus. Danny G. German at... D uh, nope, not saying that. Have your memes been stolen? You may be entitled to compensation. If you have a structured settlement and you need cash now, call J.G. Wetworth at 877-CASH-NOW. Uh-oh, Bob Tomato caught you sipping! What the fuck am I simping for? Well, that was the last meme I bothered to save to my phone. The rest of it's just pictures of Elaine Bennis, who is easily, like, the fifth hottest person on the planet. I mean, because first off, it's me. Duh. Then my wife is holding a solid second place. Then it'd be Kirstie Alley, Alex Jones, and then Elaine Bennis. Yeah. All right, well, let's get back to this painting thing here. Again, I don't have to explain it to you. We're gonna use a bunch of different fucking colors. And since we're at this first step, we're just making shapes and tones and shit. Round two, Lexi Boogaloo.
right, well, since you've been gone. Well, I, I guess more since I've been gone. One of my buddies, Johnny Smith, he fucking posted this thing the other day and it was saying, go where you're celebrated, not just tolerated. Which is why I really appreciate all 30 fucking people that watch these goddamn YouTube videos. Thank you for being here. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I don't know if you've picked that up yet. Now go buy my art while I finish this up. Well, as you can see, we're in the severe nightmare phase. She kind of looks like fucking Satan right here. Let's go do something else while this tries. Oh, hey, look, I found some more memes. That's not a meme. That's a picture from my first deployment. NSA warns alien life may not be fuckable. Not with that attitude. You haven't read my books before making these memes, have you? That's literally what it's about. When you're such a loser that you come home and find your sex doll trying to give itself an abortion. The coat hanger's a nice touch. But that's an old joke. One out of ten. Ugandan Knuckles meme. January 2022. What you doing out this way? I'm uh, delivering a child to a race of enemy sorcerers. Oi! Now why would you be doing that? Uh, you know, well, I was kind of tasked with it. Oh, well, is that because this is the- Nope, stop. Don't say it. Don't say what, mate? The, th the, th the, the, the creed. Don't say anything about the creed. Oh, well, why not? I thought that was the way. This is the way. Oh, God damn it! Now you're not going to be able to shut him up. Oi! Cranky, what the hell is that thing? <sighs> do you know the way, my brother? Oh, no, mate, it's not really my gig. So you do not know the way? Oh, no, mate, I know the way, it's just not my thing. Then you are a false item and must be destroyed. Oi, what the fuck fucking mean by that? Oh, God, I don't know, fat buddy won't shut up about it. You come with me, I will show you the way. Let us go! God damn it, now I'm never gonna get this guy to shut up. See what you did, fat? Sorry, love, I was just curious. Let me show you the way. Me, 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 I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take my goddamn helmet off. All right, so it's tomorrow afternoon. I got in my beauty sleep. I made a grocery list. I didn't go grocery shopping yet because I don't have any food in the house and I'm probably gonna have to go out to eat for dinner, you know, with the wife. Go get grocery shopping. And then spent an hour or two on, you know, LinkedIn and ZipRecruiter and while there wasn't anything I actually wanted to do for a job, I'm literally applying to everything that has a 40 hour work week and that I'm at least somewhat qualified for. But. Let's get back to painting. All right, so for this bit, we're gonna take a little bit of the uh, that fluorescent blue. We might take some Corellian blue too, see how it works. We're gonna do the whites in the eyes, and then we're gonna start to do the teeth. And we're gonna wait till later to do the lips because the lips go over the teeth, all right? Let's do this. Alright, so check out what we're doing to the hair. In the nightmare phase. You know, we used a bunch of different fucking purples. Same kind of shades of shit, and just kind of like brushed down over stuff so that these colors blend together up here. And when this dries, we'll come back and go over it with probably just blue and pink to give it a little bit of highlights. And then we're gonna go in and give her some irises and pupils and some eyelashes, work on the teeth just a little bit, and then go in and give her lips, and I think we're gonna be about done with her. So one of the funnier things I enjoy about this job hunting thing, because this is how I spend my fucking morning, like almost every one of these jobs also has you fill out this like equal opportunity fucking thing and like there's a box for like disabled veterans and then under that it says you know we thank you for your service you know I, I get to click that box because I don't have the fucking thing that holds your ankle fucking tendons together anymore like I got medically separated it hurts to walk and I have the documentation to fucking show it but anyway if, if you really support the troops and you really want to thank me for my service you can at least send me a fucking email saying I didn't get the job and let, instead of just like fucking having me goddamn fucking wait forever the other thing too is like that's all bullshit like most of these things I try to apply on the fucking company site you know go straight to the fucking source, but when you do it on like Indeed or like ZipRecruiter or fucking whatever, they send you an email when somebody looks at your application. Not fucking invites you for a fucking interview, but when someone just looks at your fucking application. So if you're thanking me for my service, and you support the troops, and I'm clicking the box that says thank me for my service, you'd think they'd at least fucking look at my fucking resume! And then it gets even better when you like wait a week and then you like call the company and be like, oh, hello, is this whoever? Yes, my name is this. Have you had a chance to look at my resume or application yet? And they say, no, we haven't yet. Thank you very much for applying though. We'll look at it soon. And then you never fucking hear anything again. It's fucking great. Not frustrating at all. Let's get back to painting. Actually, I just realized I only have like five minutes left of recording time on this card and uh, it's a 30 gig card. I'm not dropping it to fucking, you know. I'm gonna finish the painting myself and then we'll fucking, I'll show you what fucking it ended up looking like at the end. 
Sorry. All right, well, there we go. Two for Tuesday. Although I think it's Thursday, and you're probably not going to see this until Friday or Saturday, but here we go. If you like these things, uh, well, you know where to get them. And if you want me to paint you something, I am open for commissions. So either send me an email or uh, DM me on Instagram is probably the best way to do that. Maybe Twitter, but I don't, I don't check it that often. I just go there to like bitch more and complain about stuff, which I guess isn't too much different from what I'm doing here. But anyway, I decided to have a contest giveaway type thing. Now, what this giveaway is for, I don't know yet. If it's a piece of art that I made a video about and I end up still having it when this happens, I will give it away to one of the random commenters you still want when I get one of these art videos that hits 100 likes. Sounds fair enough, right? All right, well, I've been Trip. you've been you. Have a good one.